They call me crazy cause I'm facing all my giants They try to scare me into thinking I can't fight it They tell me I should never even think of trying But that's just me, I'm gonna live out in defiance of a circle because that's the movement that we're going to be going in so what i did is measure half of the wall which is 11 feet now i'm measuring 11 feet from the wall so i kind of know where to guide my path of movement just pull a little grass out of the ground and mark the spot where 11 feet is roughly it doesn't you know have to be exact the goal here is to go from one side of the wall to that mark to the other kind of in an arch not exactly in a straight line um, the goal is to make half a circle then you want to start with the bricks of the wall fully covering the camera, walk to your mark, go back to the other side and make sure the bricks are fully covering the camera again. Here's just another view of it, fully covered by the bricks. The goal is to keep your subject centered on that crosshair as best as possible. Um, the more centered it is, the more fluid the footage is going to become. Um, as you see, I'm keeping her centered, just walking to my mark and walking to the other side of the wall and crossing the wall. Very important. Here's the raw footage of just going from one side of the wall to my mark to the other as the subject stays completely still for the length of it. Now that we have our footage, we bring our clips over to Final Cut. I'm just going to do a quick one here. I'm just dragging three clips down to the timeline. Uh, the goal is to just stitch them together real quick. Um, what I want to do is trim it to the brick wall being halfway, roughly. So now I go to the end of the clip, trimming it halfway. I'm going to do it again to the end of this clip, um, trimming it halfway right about there. And then once again, trimming it halfway. I'm going to do that for every clip. So the new one starts at the halfway mark from the previous one. But you'll notice the clip starts on green and ends on orange and starts again on green and so on. So next, to make this look a little bit smoother, um, if you go to the effects and type in flipped, you could add that to the middle shot only, um, or every other one if you have multiple shots, and then you go to the time and reverse the clip. And what this does is flips it and reverses. So one shot will end on green, and the next one will now start on green, and same with orange and orange. Um, it just makes for a much smoother in-camera transition effect. Now all you really have to do is speed up the clip. Um, for my final video, I used four times speed, and then you add music. I did adjust the speed to go to the beats of the music a little bit, and then color grade, and you're done. They try to scare me into thinking I can fight it. They tell me I should never even think of trying. But that's just me, I'm gonna live out in defiance.